Hey, what's up, y'all? So uh, I'm just going to run through how to kind of do what we did earlier in class when we we're uh, doing some cutouts. Uh, if you missed everything, this is just going to be a recap of how to use our cutout tools uh, and cut shapes out of photos of our uh, creative genius. So first off, we're going to go to Pixlr E. You go to Pixlr.com and then you're going to the Pixlr E. That's like the advanced photo editor. There's also Pixlr X, but that's like the quick and easy one. But the one that we're using for our project is Pixlr E. So you're going to click that. Um, when you start off uh, with the project, what you're going to do is you're going to create new. Once you click create new, um, you're going to go right here and you're going to give it a title. And the title is going to be uh, C G collage. So creative genius collage. And I'm going to title this C G collage too, because it's my second one. We're going to keep it at 1920 and 1080. Uh, for the background, I'm going to make the background white. I'm just going to create it. So um, when you're using this, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to import some new layers. So I'm going to come over here to like the image layer section where it's just kind of like bright blue section. We already have this first one. And when you go to these three dots right here, um, this is where you can open up more settings in the actual program. So for this, I'm going to title it background. Uh, and then I'm just going to leave it as background until now that's the background. So the next thing I'm going to do is import a picture. And to do that, I'm going to go to this little plus sign, and I'm going to click Image. Once I click it, it's going to open up my desktop. And uh, for my example, I'm going to choose uh, this picture of LeBron that I have. OK, so this is the picture that I'm going to choose of LeBron to work with. Um, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over uh, to my plus sign. It looks like my picture is really big. So what I want to do is I want to make it a little bit smaller. And I can do that by just zooming out and pressing this minus sign. And I can see right here that my picture is a little big. So I'm just going to use this to kind of bring it back. So that's kind of like the beginning of it uh, when we're starting. So the next thing I want to do is I want to choose the actual shape that I want to cut it out. So when you're working in this program, this whole section is a kind of like a whole a uh, bunch of bins of tools. When you hover over it, it tells you exactly what it does. So if you're ever confused, you can hover over it. But for this, we're going to go to the shape tool. Um, when you click on the shape tool, it's going to open up a bunch of new layers all the way up top here where, there's a, where it says mode. So there's a design mode, draw mode. And then here you have a bunch of different shapes that you could use. Um, so for my example, I'm just going to choose a square just to keep it simple. Uh, so I'm going to take my square, I'm going to click, I'm going to hold it, and then I'm going to drag my box. If you leave your hand on shift, it's going to make your square like get bigger at the same rate, meaning that it's not going to be all stretchy and turn into a rectangle. If you hold shift, it uh, constrains the portions, meaning that it keeps everything the same. Once I have this the way I want, I'm just going to let go of everything, and then it's going to create a shape. So that's kind of the first step right there. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use my magic wand tool. Now, the magic wand is this tool right here. Um, what it does is it like selects everything that's exactly the same color. So if I click my magic wand and I go over to this gray square that I have, I'm just going to click on it, and it's going to just kind of open up like these lines around the square. Um, what that's saying is that you're selecting this part of this layer to work on, or so you're, you're selecting this shape. And you could select any part of your image just to work on specifically and not mess up any other part of the picture. That's one of the cool parts of Photoshop. So this is where things get a little tricky. Um, and I'm going to kind of clear the space so that you could see this. Uh, so this is the LeBron layer, and I have my shape layer right here. So right now, my shape layer is the one that's highlighted, the one that I'm working on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click my LeBron layer. And once I do that, I'm going to just go right over to my shape. And I, in, like all you're really going to do is press Control uh, and I. What that's going to do is that's going to invert your selection. So it's going to change the selection from the inside to the selection outside. And as long as you're highlighted on the part that you want to cut out, you can just press Delete. And now you'll have this square here. Um, the next thing you're going to do is just uncheck the shape.
and then boom, there's your cutout of LeBron. Uh, you may have the lines around if you press control D to deselect it. Um, it'll like unselect what you just did and you'll be able to kind of like have your, your cutout right there. So that's like one easy way to be able to cut out your image. Um, and I'll do one more example. Uh, this time I'll use the same picture of LeBron, but I'll do a different shape. So I press the plus to import my picture and I'm going to import the exact same picture of LeBron again. I'm going to just change the size, make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to move this one over here. Uh, and what I'm going to do this time uh, is I'm going to go to the same shape tool. And this time I'm going to go to the custom tool. Once I click that, you're going to go to this thing that says shape. Once you click on that, you open up a whole new like uh, drawer of just tons more shapes that you can incorporate into your design. Um, so there's lots of different ones. Um, I say just try to be consistent. You could try them all out and get a little uh, wild with it, um, but try to be deliberate and have so a sense of style with what you're doing. Um, so I'm going to choose this shape right here, this kind of like half circle. And actually, you know what? Let me let me change it. I'm going to do uh, hmm. I'm going to do this X right here. <clears throat> so. Uh, the other way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go to my screen, I'm gonna leave my hand on shift, and then I'm just going to drag out my shape so I have this cool looking X. Uh, then I'm going to head over to my magic wand tool. I'm going to select uh, the X with the magic wand. I'm still in the shape layer. Now I'm going to go to my layer with LeBron on it. Once you have that selection, you can still lower the transparency. So you know which piece that you want. Once you have that, you can press Control and then I to invert your selection. And then we can delete and then we'll have that next part of LeBron. So I'm going to Control D to deselect it. I'm going to turn off my shape above here. And then there we go. Here's my next piece. This is interesting because you could do this with shapes. You could do this with numbers. You can do this with all kinds of things. Um, if I wanted to have like a little bit more fun with this, I can um, throw another square in there, maybe delete that too. Maybe I can spell something out of the letters so that it looks like he's doing something on the, the court or something. I don't know. But hopefully that's helpful. That's just a quick tip on how to cut out letters, uh, cut out shapes very easily. Thanks, guys.